Bill, Ben and Fergus. A small railway traction engine works on the island of Sodor. One day he was on his way to the quarry. He had a special job to do for the back controller. Hello, whistled Thomas. Where are you going? To the quarry, Fergus chuffed happily. Watch out for the twins, said Thomas. They love to make mischief. I won't let young rascals rattle me. You don't know the twins like I do, warned Thomas. Fergus arrived at the quarry. He went to work with Mavis and the twins. I'm afraid the trucks are in a mess, said Mavis. Not to worry. We'll sort them out. Bill and Ben were delighted. Now we'll have some fun, whistled Ben. We'll have the old boiler in a spin, steamed Bill. Fergus liked helping Mavis, but he didn't like the way the twins were behaving one bit. Bill banged his trucks hard. Some rocks fell onto the track. Do it right, Fergus ordered. Bill didn't like being ordered about by a traction engine. Don't interfere, he snapped back. Then Ben pushed his trucks to block the line. Fergus was stuck. Out of my way, steamed Fergus. But Ben just grinned. The next day, the men were blasting rock. Wait for the all-clear signal, Fergus called to Bill and Ben. Do it right. There he goes again, puffed Bill. Do it right from morning till night. Keep your funnel out of our quarry, huffed Ben. The quarry master sent Bill and Ben to collect a rock crusher from the harbour. Fergus was left in peace with Mavis. The twins were still thinking about Fergus. He's just an old fusspot, said Bill. He's always saying, do it right. Well, the next thing he tells us to do, wish Bill. We'll do it wrong, they laughed. <laughs> to the quarry. The rock crusher was heavy, shaking the rails as they went. The blasting has made that rock face unsafe warned Fergus. Don't go near it. Do it right. But the twins took no notice of Fergus and were very naughty. As roughly as they could, they rattled alone towards the cliff. Look out, cried Fergus, and he rushed forward and bumped Bill and Ben out of the way. His driver jumped to safety as the rocks began to fall. But Fergus was covered in rocks right up to his funnel. It took a long time to dig him out. And no one worked harder to help than Bill and Ben. At last, Fergus was free. Bill and Ben were ashamed. We shouldn't have been so naughty, said Bill. We're very sorry, added Ben. Good, smiled Fergus. From now on, we can all do it right together.
To be continued. <laughs>